Hey everyone, what's going on? So today we're doing today we're reviewing the second B&M set, the final one I'm going to do a review on, which is the Monsters set. Now this one is New and uh, New Who and Classic Who. I'm going to review all three figures, so we'll get straight into it. So we'll start with um, the New Series figure, get the one that not many people care about out of the way. Now, uh, obviously, this uh, some people may be thinking with the weathering on that this is a new figure. It is not. This figure has been released before in the Pandorica. Uh, well, the series first sort of box sets. He was exclusive to that with the weathering on, but apart from that, apart from that, uh, it's all the same. Obviously, the helmet is removable, and we have the face. The face is oh, the paint application on the face is okay. Obviously, his articulation is pretty bog standard. His head can do a 360. His arms can move. Got bicep, elbow, 360 at the wrists. Secret joint, hip. Although it's a bit of a weird one because you can sort of do that. Knee, thigh. Uh, just you know, standards. The feet are quite stiff, and I'd keep them that way because sometimes new suits sometimes have a tendency to lose their feet, and yeah, then they just become really loose and really hard to stand up. So the face itself is a pretty good representation. Obviously, I don't, I'm not going to display it like this because I have way better sculpts. So he'll just have his helmet on, and he'll be acting as a normal Sontaran on my shelf. However, it's very, 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 very nice to do, and it is the like I said, the series five uh, one. There's no actual difference in the mold, just the weathering pattern. And it is uh, was an exclusive figure to that, so uh, I think for a few people who are kind of like the new series on Tyrants, uh, I know that's uh, not many people. These were my first on Tyrants, which is why I sort of like, sort of like them. Uh, this has lost exclusivity now, so it's only in two sets. Although he did come with his staff rather than the gun. Uh, speaking of the gun, let's have a little look. Uh, it's just no weathering or pattern on it. Do be careful though, because this bit's not been moulded properly on, on my one, which means when you put it into his hand, it starts to bend see there so you yeah, just do be slightly mindful of that but yeah if you put the helmet on uh, it's a lot more see-through the eye parts are you can cl quite clearly see that it's in there and it is quite a loose helmet uh, the fitting hasn't been done uh, that well uh, so if I put it on see at the back it's on oh it's gone stiff now I love it when that happens in reviews you say something all of a sudden no uh, no it decides not to do it but yeah that's the sun time figure Oh no, not really the one that people are going to be interested in. But I think f for me, who has a small army on Tyrants, it's always nice to have an <clears throat> another one in, especially when it's the weathered one, which I've only got the one of. So yeah, quite nice. Now we move on to the Tomb of the Sidemen controller. Now I have the original for comparison. Oh, side fall over, and there are quite a few differences, mainly as you can tell on the head. So this figure was a builder figure, obviously, and they just deal with it back in two thousand and nine. So, with it being a builder figure, it wasn't made on its own. And as you can see, the head is a little bare. Now, this was fine. I didn't really see a problem with this. But, as you can see, there is this band up here, which has now been painted silver. Now, this is a very nice. Uh, there's only one problem with this head. I re Well, a few problems I have. As you can see, there is some problems with paint on the veins. Whereas on this one, there was no problems. The eyes are pretty much the same. But, of course, the colour has changed. And also... These are a lot more prominent, if you can... The circle pattern on the old one is a little, uh, not as prominent as is on the new one, which is quite nice. Apart from that, though, the sculpture is pretty much the exact same. Now, articulation-wise, the head can be removed, but can't move. The arms can kind of do 360, but are pretty solid, uh, obviously. Elbow, 360 the hands, T crotch joint, well not T crotch, sorry. It's on balls, so it kind of can move a bit. Knee, but do be careful of the pipes when you do a knee, because sometimes, like on this one, the pipes don't want to move. 360 at the foot, which is uh, nice to see because that famous scene where the two of Simon, obviously, you know, uh, was walking like that. We need to be able to recreate that in our figures. We have waist articulation, very loose on mine. That will, um, whereas on this one, it's a lot more stiff and rigid. And this one has been, you know, obviously put together. So a little bit unsure on how why that is. Probably just cheaply made. As you can see, there's lots of dips and chips in the plastic on my that one's stomach, and it's it does quite detract. Although if I really wanted to, I could just replace it with this one. But all in all, I actually really do like this figure. Obviously, I've gone through this figure I think twice on my channel, possibly now. Yeah, twice. So if you're really interested in what I think about the rest of it, go and check them videos out. But obviously, it's just the head sculpt. Uh, this is the one I'm, I'm using for displays a lot more now. I prefer this one over the original. Obviously, the original is still worth a bit of money to actually have. And I've got this one legit, like, with all my, all my build figures. So, 
all in all, it's worth getting even if you do have uh, the original. So, that's soon. Fine, we move on to the new variant of the figure. Uh, this is a new variant. Now, there's been a bit of a thing, is it a new variant or not? And it is. It is the Attack Cyberman. Now, <clears throat> people are saying it's basically an Earthshock Cyberman. This is an Earthshock Cyberman. Already, they look different. To begin with, what we'll do is articulation first. Let's, before we get bogged down into details. Head can move slightly, but it is glued down. But to prove that, it can move on the sculpt. There you go. Not, it's all going well. This. Arms can move slightly, but are hindered by the jacket thing. Jacket, yeah, let's call it. We'll call it a jacket. I know it's the chest unit. Uh, bicep, elbow, three six of the wrists, T crotch joint, waist, knee, and foot with these boots. So, first of all, let's compare the guns. Let's compare the guns. This is the new one. This is the old one. Now, I do not have the other attack set with Perry and Cyberman. If he had the, that Cyberman had this gun, then nothing's changed. However, when you look at these, you notice something. Look, look down there. That actually has black painted on it now. Now, this is very hard for, for you to probably make it on. There you go, you can see it has its black painted. There's a lot more detail on this weapon. However, it is gold. Now, if you know your Sadman, you'll know this is, of course, a bit of a problem. If Sadman had gold weapons. So, I don't quite know why it's been painted like that, but it's a new variant kind of thing. Next, we move on to the face. Let's compare the faces. I reviewed this Earthshock Earth Sadman as well before, so check that out if you really want to know more about it. Silver, black. No green, I mean green, no green. See through pipes, silver pipes. Bit of detail on there, none on there. Uh, moon boots, normal boots. This figure, this figure has never been seen with wrong paint applications on the face with those boots on. Okay. This figure has been seen with a completely different head sculpt with a removable face and also a lots of green sort of shit, I guess, on him. He has never been seen with this gun. I think that warrants a new variant. Also as well, it is named uh, Cyberman from Attack of the Cybermen. We've had Cyberman with removable face faceplate from Attack of the Cybermen, but not Cyberman on its own. Again, a new title to suggest a new figure. Like, Corroded Cyberman is different than uh, Cyberman with arm gun. It is kind of pretty much the same sculpt. But it's different. It is a different figure. It's a different variant. So that's why I believe this figure is a different variant. I mean, they do. You, you can really tell them apart instantly. So yeah, new figure. So that is the monster set. Uh, video is a little bit shorter than it was going to, but that's because it's mainly been comparisons. Uh, I'd say if you want to buy this set for the price, especially if you don't have any of these figures, definitely it's definitely worth it. If you have one or two of them, like if you like, I technically have all of these. Uh, obviously. I say it's a new variant though. Um, it's still worth it. Uh, the Sontaran is w pretty well made for considering it's a cheap knockoff, and it is a variant that you probably don't have. The Tomb Sideman is a, I prefer it, but if it's better, it's better. And it is a new variant, and it's an attack Sideman, which is we've never actually seen one really singularly as an attack Sideman. So that's again really nice. Um, I just think well, basically, it's a it's a good sort of armor building set. Uh, obviously, you can't be on build them, but I'd say if you really want to, hang on to them. Wait for B and M sets to not be selling again. He goes for thirty five pounds. He, he's not gonna. He's not gonna go for nothing. You'd be able to get more money, buy more figures. It's called recycling. You could turn him into two autons. You know, if you think it, think it through. So that's just a tip for you. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, please hit the like button. It would help very much with the channel. And also subscribe as I at the moment. This is not promised, but at the moment I seem to be keeping up a good sort of daily dose of Doctor Who. Uh, there will hopefully be a commentary today as well, with Elfie on possibly Attack of the Sidemen. Where we may be mentioning the figure a bit more, and I will also have him on hand to see if there's anything that they did on this. That did, that did well, if you get, sort of to compare it as well. So that will be very interesting. Anyway, see you guys in the next one. Bye!